the history behind Big P. Oh, man. You were a former dancer. Yeah, I was like uh, one of New York's, uh, you know, hip-hop dancers that we kind of like set the trains for everybody else in the city to dance. And when the latest move came out, we would introduce it on the stages of Latin Quarters, the rooftop, Union Square, places like that. I had the crazy flat top designs and you the man. unusual clothes from uh, Columbus Avenue and the man. you name it. All right. A lot of polo. Talking. Yeah, I actually was the first, we had the first act with EPMD. Uh, uh, Diamond was actually DJing, and uh, we had girls that actually fainted on the side of the stage after the show. Oh. Um, <laughs> I wonder how that effect on yeah, the Yeah, I didn't know that. I was like somebody was getting beat up. Something. I heard screaming <laughs> and yelling. I said, "Oh, it's just the Latin quarters. Everybody's getting beat up." But I love that quarters. Somebody, uh, two girls actually fainted, and uh, while you were dancing or yeah, after. It was, it was, yeah, while I was dancing. You had that kind of effect. It was, it was amazing. I had to check you. And then I remember my one of my uh, biggest shows in the city was at the Red Parrot. We had Mike Tyson pull up, mm -hmm. Beth Lee, and uh, all the artists you look at. You see all the uh, rap stars and movie actors came, and, and here I am, a little skinny dude from Brentwood dancing on stage with EPMD. <laughs> That's hot. It was hot. Yeah. That's hot. Like we did the Michael Jackson. <laughs> So you kind of like originated the dancing steps. A lot of dance steps, yeah. With me, uh, along with, alongside with IU dancers, mm -hmm. uh, School and Scrap, and uh, a few others that were pretty known. Big back Daddy then. Dancing. Yeah, we kind of like called. He was on one side of the city, I was on the other side. Uh, yeah, so Fendi too, right? And there was Fendi, alongside with Steve Stone. Steve Stone. Yeah. yeah, so you had yeah. a group of guys that were yeah. out there uh, setting trends. So, so what, you just did this on the weekends? Was this every day. Every day. You had shows yeah, everywhere? Yeah, club head. I was what you call oh, a club, club head. head. Yeah. Dude, was nasty. I would, I would nasty. have, I, I would have to see. be in the, uh, and my highlight of the moment was just to mesmerize people. I'd uh, get into a zone and just have people look at me in a circle and go, what did he just do? <laughs> I wish there was YouTube back then. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Big P is? He's the original So You Can Dance. You yeah. know all these movies? Yeah. He's part of the originators of that. You would've, what? You would've been, you would've won the show. Oh, yeah. definitely. You would've ran the show. Yeah, oh. I love battle, and I was a battle dancer. Off the chain. And whatever it was, great dancer. Do you, dancer do you watch any of these reality yeah. dance shows? Yeah, I see them. And, what do you think? Uh, I like them, you know, I was more of a freestyle dancer, so everything that's mm -hmm. choreographed and stuff like that was really Mm -hmm. Something I like to do. So, no, you, you didn't follow any choreo. I really didn't just, have a did group of guys dance with me because they couldn't keep up once I started blacking out. And so I that's go. what happens? You blacked out? People yeah, black out. I would black out. Totally. Black really? Out. Yeah. Yes. And when you Crazy. just... You know, to, yeah, my body just was like, in, you know, like possessed to the beat, to the sound, to the... Just being in New York, all the big buildings and everything like that was just... It was like an ego. I was there. Yeah, it was like I was high. Off of the, uh, you know, the arena of dancing. So then what happened? Why did you stop? Just as you got older, just. Yeah, after a while, you know, you go and move on to different things mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know, and it kind of dies down when the dancer was the, the top guy mm -hmm. uh, of the show. And then after that, I stopped. I got tired of looking at dudes when the, the, the girls started dancing. Exactly, it started dying out. Like clothes, clothes on, so it took over. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, you know, I can't argue that. So I'd rather them. watch them than me on stage. Yeah, you don't see that on the video and dancing videos like that anymore. You know, I'm trying, if I can ever, if I can ever finish and get this pool scene done for my video, for apples and bananas, I got a group of guys on deck that's going to do a dance scene. Nice. That's why I really want to get the scene shot. Because I'm like, I got, I got to put that element yeah, bring that back, into the, back yeah, into the music. Freestyle, yeah. yeah, so shout out to Madeline. She's on the... Uh, on the hunt. She's on the hunt for me. I appreciate, you know, whether it's a go or not. She's definitely looking out. Appreciate that. That's right, nice. Hopefully, I can be a part of that dance scene. Yo, let's do it. Come yeah, on, man. Some old school uh, steps. So, have you tried doing some of the moves you used to do? Have you blacked out recently? A couple of shots of tequila. You know, sometimes it'll take me back. Really? I'm still able to move. I show my kids. 
I'm going on this boat ride to see <laughs> dance. We're, we're dancing. I'm battling yeah. my kids. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk about the boat ride real quick. Uh, let people know how they can uh, attend the boat ride. Because the boat ride is crazy. It's the BPM Entertainment slash Producers Edge Magazine annual boat ride, September 1st, leaving from... Underwater Kamau. That's Freeport, New York. Freeport, New York. Yeah. Nautical Mile boat leaves at 11:30, I believe. Yeah, we usually get there a little early, pre-boarding. So as soon as all uh, that, you know. 11:30 in the afternoon. No, at night. Oh, okay. Good. I can make it. We usually, usually get so that means rock. You tell your people it's 9 p.m. Yes, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. The boat leave. You must go. 11:30 is perfect. I'll be downtown. Yeah. There you go. Usually they, everything is right there. You jump on the boat. The music is playing. The drinks are straight up, right there in your face. Was, you know, and, and uh, there's no waiting on line for nothing. I nice. want you to join the four, 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 five hours of uh, dancing out in the uh, ocean and uh, enjoying the night. Yeah. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, guest celebrities, we usually have somebody on there, the, you know, producer, artist. You never know who we're going to bring out. And uh, the DJs are. Uh, hopefully, Diamond's going to be there. And, uh, I'm going to be there? Yes, he's I'm, definitely I'm up. in there. Terry, I'm going to be rocking with uh, Smooth and Smooth and Alley. Yep. Lenny Ace. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's going to be uh, the four or five DJs on the set. It's going to be a movie, everybody, movie. Yeah, everybody's doing the best set, best 45 minutes, back to back. You can imagine what's going to happen. It's going to be crazy. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to rock the boat. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. Crazy. Yeah. This is the third year now, right? Yeah, third yes. year. Yeah. Every year it gets crazy. Okay. Woo, right? crazy. You better bring flats. Yeah. Bring I, was thinking, I was actually thinking, I was talking to Lenny about that. Should I wear heels? He's like, yeah, some girls wear heels. I'm thinking no. I mean, you can wear heels and start off the night sexy, but Thinking once no. the drink set in, once it gets uh, going, I'm going in. Uh, you yeah. see people start spinning on, the, on their backs. And yeah, it's crazy. I'm going out. Me, uh, you may be on the dance floor. Yeah. I don't know. I may be. And if, uh, you know, we got some salsa. So, you know, you, you never know what you're gonna hear, but okay. whatever, whatever you hear is gonna bring you to that crazy. moment that you need to dance. That's your song. Yep. <laughs> we play everything. Everything. Whoa. Mm. So that's that September 1st, leaving from Nautical Mile in Freeport, New York. How can they get tickets to the uh, event? Uh, you can find us on Facebook, you know, the, the, the BPM, uh, the Edge page, or, you know, you can find it. Definitely everybody find it. Or oh, you can hit Diamond Ryan, I uh, uh, and we'll give you the info. That's true, too, because we're all attached to the event. Yes, we're all on. Wow, if you just tuned in, you rocking on the DJ Diamonds show. That is a throwback Thursday. We throw in the back. We're uh, speaking to my man right now, Big P from Producers Edge Magazine. Tell us a little bit about the magazine. And Rappers Delight. And Rappers Delight. He's affiliated with Big Will, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the magazine, Rappers Delight, they've got a great group of, group of guys that I work with, Drew. And, uh, Shout Drew. out to Big Drew on the camera. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah. behind the scenes, we've got to get him in front sometimes. He shook the camera like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> that's a professional right there. Yeah. Like that too. No doubt. Uh, he's got more up his sleeve than we all know. I'm so sure he look does. Look out for this guy. He's got a lot going on. Uh, yeah, I mean, the magazine, we, we're doing, we're doing uh, what we, we started off doing. We had a consistent uh, run so far. Uh, and it's doing on a, on, a, on a scale of word of mouth. Pretty much we had play on those major radio stations, you know, right. major anything. It feels good, you know, especially in New York City. You got a lot of hardcore readers, uh, producers, and engineers learning how to, you know, just basically get their beats together, fine tune their, their sound, and uh, you know, our guys just basically want to uh, come out of school or going to school to become music engineers. Uh, this is a great tutorial magazine to read, Producers Edge, and up and coming artists and rappers. It's a the best magazine going, Rappers of Light. It's so clean cut and, and, and to the point, uh, which is about your craft and your art. And, and you're not going to get it uh, tainted in any kind of way in this magazine. Yeah, we were actually talking about the professionalism of the magazine. That's, yes. that's a big look. I mean, shout out to every publication that I've been featured in. No disrespect to anybody, but that's one of the most well put together publications I've been affiliated with yeah. thus far. Yeah, these guys are uh, really serious about what they do. Absolutely. And, uh, I spend many, spend many hours in the studio working on it, going over it, and making sure that we get a good look. That's why we come out quarterly and we take our time. It's a, it's it's a great product. product. Yeah. And I would say continue the formula because it's working. If it ain't broke, yeah. don't fix it. Yeah, well, Producers Edge is one of the first digital uh, uh, music tech magazine, uh, you know, so we 
pretty much paved the way mm -hmm. for a lot of magazines that are coming out after us. But you know, we kind of one of the original guys, uh, digital, going digital. When a crisis where you know hitting Wall Street and everything like that, and magazines weren't being sold no more in the stores. Right, right. And people, all these gadgets was coming out, so we kind of fell in line with that and, mm. and doing pretty good. That's dope. Ten million views on YouTube, and uh, it's out of control. That's amazing. For That's tutorials too, you know. This is like you know, people just want to learn about the chord or the keyboard or whatever. We cover events where you know most people don't go to, and uh, it's not all about the gossiping and the uh, who, what's Fifty Cent doing. And, you know, right. who, you know, who's hot, you know, sometimes you're going to learn something right. And, right. and have fun at the same time, you know. Who, uh, who's some of the uh, uh, producers or engineers that you that may have featured in the magazine on the cover? Oh, yeah, well, you know, uh, uh, Pete Rock, you know, nice. Premier, we have had nice. uh, uh, Heat Makers, Heat Makers, uh, Ninth Wonder, Ninth Wonder. Teddy Rowley, RZA, uh, RZA, Just RZA, Blaze, Just Blaze, yeah. Oh, nice. oh, yeah, a lot of you, you imagine like a lot of a lot of these magazines are sitting within their studios and right there, classic magazines. They hold on to it right. because we are digital. So when you do get a print, they hold on to it. Right, it's only limited print. Yes, so yes, you gotta hold on to it. You know, so I'm gonna hold on to that right yeah, like yeah. magazine. <laughs> hold now, on. Hopefully, we're looking to do big things. You know, we like to get a producer's edge award show. You know, we're, we're looking at doing, uh, you know, different things that are, you know, in the making, you know. So, uh, that's a there's a lot, yeah, there's a lot that happen, yeah, with this, with this. And we're going for it. You keep continuing to go for it, man. How can people get in contact with you directly? Uh, you can uh, basically hit me up, you know, it's pmohika1 at gmail.com. Uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pedro Mojica. And, uh, you know, or go to Producer's Edge magazine, or that is the light, and uh, you'll find me. I'm assuming dot .com. Dot com, yes. Gotcha. All right, that's what it is. My man Big P, Producer's Edge magazine, affiliated with Rapper's Delight magazine. And it's a throwback Thursday, so I might as well just play the song from the group that, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, you're affiliated with. <laughs> that you came out dancing with. I came out dancing with. Yes. Uh -oh. Here we go. <laughs>